It started in 2003 as an idea to affect change, and quickly grew to an annual affair with worldwide attention and participation. Microsoft's Imagine Cup invites students to dream big and gives them a platform to take an idea from concept to completion while building sought-after skills they'll be able to use throughout their careers. From Sydney to Sao Paulo and everywhere in between, the Imagine Cup shines a spotlight on groundbreaking new inventions and concepts, all using technology to create new business models, products, and solutions. And now, it's come to take its place on a larger scale at the preeminent event for developers, where inspiration meets information and collaboration. The perfect beginning to Microsoft Build. This is the Imagine Cup. Competition, which is what these students have engaged in for the last several months. The Imagine Cup journey began with 30,000 student competitors from 190 countries. From there, teams competed in three regional competitions, with the winner of each region taking home a cool $15,000. Introducing Finder, a quick and easy solution to find any object in your room. We're not using any tracking device, we just use a stereo camera. What's really exciting about Finder is they've taken a problem and really driven home how much more challenging it is for the visually impaired. They've solved it. They've come up with a solution that takes augmented reality to be able to determine where things are in space, artificial intelligence to be able to detect objects, and of course, bringing that together with cognitive services. It really is an amazing set of capabilities coming together for a real world problem. Now it's our turn to see this solution in person. Team Finder, you have three minutes on the clock. That time begins now. Hey, I'm Fernand from Team Finder. And I'm Sachin. Have you ever lost something, like a key, wallet, or phone? I'm sure I have. Well, over the past couple of months, we've been working together with the UK's leading charity to find out more about this problem. John, one of our test users, has shared the following story with us. Once, he was looking for a book for three days straight and wasn't able to find it. How it turned out, the book was beside him the entire time. As I got a dyslexia myself, I regularly use speech-to-text software and other softwares to help me with my disability. Finder aims to do the same for people with visual abilities to empower them to become more independent to find lost objects. How our technology can help John. We utilize a custom-built 3D stereo camera to pinpoint every object in 3D space. Then we use Azure technologies such as spatial anchors, Cosmos DB, and custom vision to power spatial intelligence. Then we use our custom-built iOS application to navigate the user towards the object using an AI experience. We use haptic feedback and stereo audio to navigate the user towards the object. You can hear a, play, a fire noise in the background. When I get closer, it will get louder. I can use haptic engine to feed me towards the right position. Once I reach Your the Your backpack target, is directly ahead. There, not I get a notification that the f object is directly ahead. That way, I know I've reached my target and I can grab it easily. Our go-to-market is a partnership with the RNIB to install 1,000 cameras into people's homes within the next six months. We then want to install, the cameras will be sold at a 199 each with a monthly subscription fee which can be offset by a grant from the British government to cover the cost of the system. Next, I want to introduce John, and let's see what he has to say about the app. So if you would have to describe the product in four words, what would you say? Um, I can describe it in two views. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> so that was John. Um, so Finder really aims to do the same what speech-to-text software has done for me. Make me independent, make me have an independent life. That way, visually impaired people do not have to rely on takers, people's family, to make them find, help them find their objects. We are Finder. Say it, fi hear it, find it. Team Kylie from India. Kylie is a smart anti-pollution mask integrated with the automated drug nebulizer 
specifically designed for respiratory and asthmatic patients. The thing I love about Team Kylie is they've taken a problem of their community and they found a way to solve it. And the technology that they used, Azure Machine Learning and Cognitive Services, to be able to not only solve it for the individual, but they're taking the data and they're crowdsourcing it. This is such an amazing opportunity to, again, not only help those individuals, but help that entire community. Team Kylie, you have three minutes to wow our judges. That time begins now. Just over a year ago, wildfires in Seattle caused air pollution to rise temporarily to dangerous levels. But there are millions of people who are living in these environment conditions every day of their life, where they can't just even breathe clean air. Back in India, we have witnessed days when people were confined to their houses just because the air quality was too harmful. And I have seen my friend coughing blood due to prolonged exposure to air pollution. Now, according to World Health Organization, air pollution is the world's largest killer, with number of deaths more than that of AIDS, tuberculosis, and diabetes combined. And this inspired us to come up with a solution to help all of these people. Therefore, we introduce you to Kylie. Kylie is a solution to improve quality of life for people living in poor, poor air quality areas. Kylie is the most advanced anti pollution mask ever built, with six layer filters and our centrifugal fan, it maintains flow of pure air, regardless of air pollution outside, and filtering even the most smallest and the dangerous 2.5 pm size particles. To ensure utmost comfort for all day use, we have also integrated Azure Cognitive Services to scan users' face structure and determine the best mask fitment for them, so that there are no any kind of design inefficiencies. For respiratory patients, we have worked together with several hospitals to bring you the world's smallest drug nebulizer, small enough to fit right into your palm. It can be easily connected to the Kylie mask, and so the patients can take medicines on the go whenever and anywhere they need it. Patients will also be able to schedule their medicine timings directly from the Kylie app so that they can get automatic drug delivery or haptic reminders. Kylie, using an air quality sensor, will monitor air quality 24 by 7 and sends the data to the cloud for being accessed by everyone. Users can then check hair quality around their neighborhood or workplace. And Kylie using machine learning will also provide a comprehensive pollution forecast for next four days. Kylie users will be able to invoke their favorite virtual assistant in a single tap directly from the mask to make or attend calls and carry on with simple day-to-day -day tasks. In order to increase the popularity of an anti-pollution mask among masses, we have also introduced the idea of customizable grills so children's or adults can go for their favorite cartoon character. Users can get their hands on Kylie from direct online sales or from our partnered hospitals or pharmacies. And the Kylie's vast air quality data will be available, available to third-party organizations in the form of paid services. Users will be able to buy Kylie for as low as $19, while the nebulizer combo will be available at only $27. The Kylie customization pack can be opted for an extra $7 charge. Thank you, everyone. We are Team Kylie, and we want you to breathe freely. Easy Glucose makes blood glucose monitoring for diabetic patients painless, fast, and cheap by analyzing images of the eye. I love how Brian really brought it home and personal. He talked about the issues that his grandma has uh, and the pain and challenges of taking those pinpricks. To be able to take the technologies of virtual machines and SQL databases and to create a great experience that's very non-invasive, it truly is unbelievable. What's really impressed me about Brian is the fact that he's only 18 years old and he already has a patent pending for this technology. I can only imagine what it would be like to have a patent pending at this age. Time for our final team of the day. You've got three minutes on the clock. Start that clock now. Hi, I'm Brian, a freshman at UCLA. Diabetes is the fastest growing chronic disease affecting over 400 million people worldwide. Because there's no cure for it, patients have to constantly monitor and measure their blood sugar levels up to 10 times per day. The problem is that it's done through these invasive finger stick tests, which are not only painful and inefficient, but because the new test strip is required every single time, it's actually extremely expensive, costing patients thousands and the entire American health system $250 billion per year. 
I was personally drawn to this problem when I found out that my own grandmother was diagnosed with diabetes. And hearing about her difficulties inspired me to come up with Easy Glucose, which provides, for the first time ever, painless, cheap, and fast glucose monitoring on the go. How is this possible? Our blood glucose levels are actually highly correlated to our glucose levels in the eye. And by analyzing images of the eye, we can determine our glucose levels by looking at specific structures inside the iris. Patients first snap on this cheap lens adapter onto their smartphone cameras, and by holding it up to their face, they're able to capture high-quality images of their own eye. From here, Easy Glucose analyzes the image and returns the glucose reading in under a second at virtually no cost and without any of the pain, blood, or risk of infection of traditional methods. This is all through, done through an Azure deep learning framework that was built on top of virtual machines and SQL databases. And since everything is happening directly on the phone, there's no need for internet connection. With an error rate of 7%, against traditional methods, not only is Easy Glucose clinically accurate, but it also outperforms current non-invasive methods by over 30%. Our market strategy is to first focus on the half million diabetics inside the California Bay Area. To bring this to market, there's a patent pending for the deep learning framework, and the next step is to gather more data and clinically validate Easy Glucose through trials in collaboration with Stanford Medicine, and then obtain FDA approval. There's a one-time $10 cost for the lens adapter and a monthly subscription of $20 for unlimited tracking to bring in recurring revenue, but also saving patients thousands per year. Easy Glucose captures a new opportunity that has only been made available by recent advances in machine learning, faster smartphones, and better smartphone cameras. It's transforming the way glucose monitoring is done and I'm looking forward to the day where millions of diabetics, like my own grandmother, don't need to worry about these invasive finger stick tests to live freely with diabetes. Thank you. Yeah, okay. yeah. I hold here, I hold here in my hands the results of the 2019 Imagine Cup World Championship. And so we're gonna get going here. In third place, Team Finder from the United Kingdom. Congratulations. congratulations and, and congratulations for making it this far and thank you so much for being a part of this year's Imagine Cup. We're excited to see how your project progresses from here, so keep working on it. Absolutely. Now, third place also gets $30,000 in Azure grants. Not too shabby. Corey, then there were two. Indeed, there were. And no matter who is named champion, both teams are already winners. The runner-up in this year's Imagine Cup will take home $40,000 in Azure grants and Surface laptops, by the way, while first place wins $150,000 in cash in Azure grants, mentoring with M12, and of course, that priceless mentoring session with Satya Nadella. Before we crown the champion, I want to make one last announcement. Microsoft is dedicated to empowering students to learn and grow, and hopefully considering careers in STEM through access to technology and resources. We thought one way to help in this endeavor, to continue to empower the next generation of technologists, is to provide a state-of-the-art device on which students can develop. So I'm thrilled to announce all of the students attending Build this year are going home with a brand new Surface Go. Exciting stuff, guys. Exciting stuff. So, let's keep it going and crown the champion, shall we? Okay. All right. Grab the uh, I'm cup grabbing there. the trophy, Corey. Let's go. And the winner of the 2019 Imagine Cup World Championship is Team Easy Glucose from the United States. <laughs> Woo! Second place, Team Kylie from India. Congratulations as well. Fantastic, and congratulations for winning the title. Yeah. And that about does it for us, but stay tuned to the Vision Keynote coming up live in mere moments. Right now, enjoy this look at the highlights from today's Imagine Cup World Championship. And remember, dream it. Build it. Live it. Yeah.